Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2014 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 20, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, Jason is driving through a border control station with seven running patrol booths, as shown in the diagram below. At points A, B, C, D, and E, drivers must branch into either the left, right, or middle lane when possible. Each shaded square represents one car en route to, both, to boost P1 through P7, and each lane is at maximum capacity of cars. The number of cars per lane is described in the following table. Jason is currently heading towards point A, but is in a rush and needs to cross the border as, fa as fast as possible. Given that all patrol officers in each booth are working at the same speed, what patrol booth would take the least amount of time for him to get through? Okay, so here is a diagram which is showing what this scenario looks like. So now, let's assume that each booth operates at the same speed. So let's say that each booth operates at a speed of one car per minute. So for example, for P1, this booth, since it has three cars, this would take three minutes to get from here to here because one car per minute. Now it doesn't matter whether this speed is quicker or slower because that affects all of the booths the same. And again, we are only looking for the booth that would take the least amount of time to get through. So the quickest lane. Okay, so let's start off right here, so from C to P1. So this will take, since it's one car per minute, there are three cars, this will take three minutes. So we are writing all these times in minutes, so we will just put three. Okay, and now for this, of course there are just two for this boost, so it's just two minutes. Okay, now for here, for P3, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which are for only this boost, so 5 minutes. Okay, so here it's just 2 for P4, so it's 2 minutes. Then there's just 1 for P5, so it's 1 minute. Then there are 3 for just for P6, so it's 3 minutes. And for P7, finally, it's 4 cars, so it's 4 minutes. Okay. Now let's look at the line of cars from B to C. So we can see that there are six cars. But we don't want to find the velocity or the distance. We, we want to find the time because, again, we want to find the quickest lane. So we know that velocity, which we will call V, is equal to the distance divided by time, which is D over T. But, of course, since we only want the time, we want to arrange this formula in terms of t, the time. So we have t, which is equal to, and then d over v. Okay. So for b to c, it would be, well, the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cars. And the velocity, well, that is two cars per minute because it is splitting up into two booths. All right, so now we can just cancel or simplify. So we have t is equal to, then the cars cancel out, and then the 6 and the 2 can be simplified down to just 3. So then we have 3, then divided by, divided by minutes is 3 minutes. So the time that it takes to get from B to C is 3 minutes. Okay, and now let's do the line from A to B. So we know that the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again 6 cars. And we know the velocity is, well, it goes into three booths, so it must be three cars per minute. So we have six cars divided by three cars per minute. Six divided by three is two, and then we just have 
two minutes. Okay, and now let's look at the line of cars from E to D. There is one, two, three, four, five, six cars that split up into three booths. So we have six cars divided by three cars per minute is then two minutes to get from E to D. And finally, the line of cars from A to E. And we know from up here it says A to E is 12. So their distance is 12 cars. And the velocity is, well, it goes into P4, P5, P6, and P7. So that is four cars per minute because there are four boots. So 12 divided by four is then three. So this is three minutes to get from A to E. All right. So now we have all the times from each line. And now we only need to look at the booths P2, P3, P5, and P7 because, well here, from this line it splits up into these two booths and this booth only has two whereas this booth has three. So we only need to look at P2. So we will write that here. And then P3 because it's on its own. And P5 because out of these three boosts, this only has one where the others have two and three. So P5. And P7 because it's on its own. Okay, so for P2, it takes two plus three is five minutes plus two minutes is seven minutes. Okay, for P3, it takes two plus five is again, seven minutes. Okay, and now for P5, it takes three plus two plus one is three plus two is five plus one is six minutes. And finally, P7 is three plus four is seven minutes. So we can see that it takes the shortest amount of time to get through the booth P5. So therefore we know that P5, the booth P5 is the fastest lane. Okay, now the keys to solving this problem was to find a mutual speed for all the booths and to know that it doesn't matter what speed they all have because it affects them all the same and to also realize that you are adding up the times for each boost so like for example p1 we added up two minutes plus three minutes plus three minutes instead of adding up all these cars because we don't want the distance we want to find the time because we want to know the least amount of time for him to get through the boots. All right, if you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at kirbutests.com.